What's going on, you Magic Maniacs? You guys ready for another Siege Sunday? We're going to be doing some Siege and some Swole, so we'll have some fun with this. By the way, Happy Easter to you all. Who's here in chat right now? How's it going, Deadshot? How you doing, man? What's going on, Chronix? What's up, Trent? Uh, who else is in here? Hello, Claptrap. How you doing, my guy? I know, Trent. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> So we're going to start off today with Swole, because I anticipated it to go by really quick, because if you remember last week's stream, plenty of bullshit to be found, so I'm sure we'll be going through that really quick with a lot of losses. So let's just hop right over into the Swole Club for that. Alright, so as you can see, my training is more or less done now. We're working on getting Jean here trained up to get the craze to 150%. There's still just over a day left on that, and there's only two days left on the Small Club Challenge, so that's going to be it for my training. We are currently sitting at level 89, so if any luck, we'll break into the 90s today, but I think this is as far as we're going with my um, Sig Addicts deck for this Swole. <laughs> so let's hop into it and see how that goes. So what do they got for me? Also, look how bullshit this is for how high the levels are. 340 HP. What are the crazy, like, the buffs it's getting? 325% buffs on everything. Freaking ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and lead with, I guess we'll go Hank, because I need power. If it plays a card with Sturdy, I'm screwed. Okay, did fry. If it combos it, though, I'm still screwed. So let's go ahead and just do as my hardest hitting thing that I possibly can. Okay, no combo. That actually is good. If it continues not to combo me, we're in a great spot. Please don't combo Fry. If you combo Fry, I am boned. God damn it. Of course it comboed Fry. Well, that's game. There's nothing I can freaking do. I'm losing Bobby if I block, and if I don't block, it's over within the next turn or so. So that's game. God damn it. Maybe we'll have better luck on the next one. <laughs> Let's see, here we go. All right, we got my hardest hitting thing I can possibly make. Please, no bullshit. No bullshit. God damn it, we already got bullshit. I'm not breaking through that. 34 wall, 13 of the shield, even if I make the combo there. I'm not breaking through because that thing's crippling me too. God damn it. And of course it's crippling me now with that. I have nothing with motivate. Yep, this is pretty much a loss. Let's go ahead and just throw out cards and see the best I can do, but... Of course it crippled it again, so I can't get a craze off the ground. I'm fucking forfeiting this. It's loss. <laughs> this is so bullshit. The fact that they paired the cripples with the sturdy walls and the shields all on, like, one particular hero, and the fact that that's, like, I think two out of the three ones, it's complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, time to kill. This is level 89. All right, we got Peggy again. Let's try her. All right, no sturdy bullshit. Don't have my hardest hitting item, but you know what? Let's still go for the kill. And it made the hijack combo, so we're still boned. That's gonna be game. God damn it. I can't catch a freaking break in this freaking swole. Well, the gas took care of that one, which was nice, but I think this is still a loss. We'll go ahead and try to get another Sig Addicts made. We lost that. Yep, that's gonna kill me with the next hit. It's game. Yeah, I remember that glitch on the last stream, Trent. Animation throwdown. Crashing so hard, it brought down the stream. <laughs> um, no, Peggy, this time we'll go Hank. Let's go ahead and do Hypnotoad. Doesn't matter, they did Peter with the sturdy wall, so I am screwed. All right, they comboed, maybe not as screwed. Let's go ahead and try to get another combo made. We're gonna go Bobby for the HP. And they did Bender because of course they did. It doesn't really matter what I do here. Let's go ahead and just do, I guess, Baked Evil Monkey for the HP again. I don't think we're breaking through anything because it's being shielded by 47. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing anything on this level, at least not this match. Let's go and do, I guess, Hatchet. Doesn't really matter. This is a loss. Am I about to lose something? I'm about to lose my Sig Addicts in slot one. Their slot one's about to fall though, so we'll keep this going. Let's do another Hatchet for the buff. And, huh, if they stopped to combo the bender in slot two, we actually could win. Let's go Hank for the HP. I need them to combo slot two, and I need Drunk Peter not to cripple slot one. It's going to be crucial. Okay, 
As long as we survive this, I think... No, never mind. Bender and Peter, I think, are going to end me. Nope, that's game. It had to dangle it in my face, but we still lost. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> Such bullshit. It's all luck at this point in the game. It's nothing but luck. You either spend or it's luck. There's no skill involved. <laughs> Let's go, Peggy. Let's try going for the hardest hitting thing again and hope they don't combo me on Fry. Who am I kidding? They're gonna combo me on Fry. Fucking course they're gonna combo me on Fry. Damn it. Um, let's get another hard hitter out there since I'm gonna be losing slot one. Um, actually, slot one live. This might work out. Let's go ahead and get another heavy hitter out here, just in case. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go more HP. I think that might be better. I gotta bank everything on slot one. If slot one survives this, we win. Of course you crippled slop one! Why would you- Oh my god. Freaking bullshit luck! Um, let's go ahead now then and throw High School Bill out over there, because he can at least be crazy on his own. And we'll go ahead and get another Sigatic set up over here. I can't afford to take the direct hit, so we got a block. Let's go Bobby. Ah, they keep just dropping everything. What's gonna have the most HP? I think VR Gaming Bobby is going to be my best bet just to stay in this without losing too much health. So let's go ahead and throw that out there. Um, do I win right here? 260 minus the 85. No, I do not. I think I lose. I think I lose on this goddamn turn. We'll go hatchet for the health, but I think that's it because it crippled Hank. I think I lose. Let's see it. Even if it didn't cripple Hank, I would have lost. It wasn't enough attack. There goes my wall. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Claptrap, this is level 89. Ah, oh, this is so brutal. Um, we'll go Big Evil Monkey in case I can get the Peggy. Otherwise, Bobby's the move. Okay, they did an epic pre-combo. This might be my best chance. Sig Addicts, Mythic, let's do it. Um, we'll go ahead and do Bobby over here, because we can try to get another combo made. They didn't combo me, I'm surprised. Well, I'm gonna make another Mythic Sig Addicts there. They're losing that slot, that's fine, they can have their hijacking one there all they want. VR Gaming Bobby won't be crazing into it, it's just a health buff at this point. Okay, if they combo slot two, I win. Combo slot two, come on, do it. Please do it. Please. Please. Yes! Oh my god, don't you dare cripple slot one, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. Anything but slot one. Yes, we won. We won. Holy hell, we made it into 90. I am surprised. Hell yes. Hey, what's up, Sniper? How you doing? So we're at level 90 now. Now we get some milestone rewards and we'll try to see as close as we can get to 100. But I don't think we're getting to 100. But hell yes. Got me even closer to my Mythic Farnsworth there. It's only 25 stones away, so even if we miss getting the mile, uh, the rankings rewards, I'm fine just dipping into a Mythic um, tier box for him to get the last of the stones. Hell yes. So let's keep this going. We got two hits left. Let's see if we can get two more levels. What do you got for me, Jesus Zoidberg? He is risen today. <laughs> Oh, damn, not a character in sight. Okay, let's do Leon Petard. And we're boned. Doesn't really matter what we do now. I mean, there's really no point in crazing into that, so I'm not even going to bother. Let's go ahead and set Hank up over there. Um, I think I can afford to take the 65 direct. I would rather have my crazing going now. So let's do it. Now let's start blocking the klepto. We'll go VR Gamer. And we still lose. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, Trent, it's not that you lost the points. I disabled the Twitch channel points on their own because it was confusing people. Twitch has their own channel point system, and then I have my rewards loyalty system that I use. People were getting confused and thinking their Twitch points were the ones on my loyalty one and wondering why they couldn't redeem rewards. So to avoid confusion, I just disabled Twitch's one because I don't have any rewards set up through actual Twitch. It's through my Streamlabs loyalty, so that's why you're not seeing that. Let's go ahead and do Hank. 
If you want to see how many points you actually have on the channel, just check the Twitch panels below. There's one specifically showing the leaderboards. Just click on points and it'll show you how many points you have for the rewards program. Or you can just go over to the website magicianjso.live. There's a whole section for the loyalty there too. In fact, here's a link to it in chat for you there. So that'll show you your points for the loyalty system there if you could follow that link. Let's go ahead and do... We'll get another combo set up over here. And it killed my slot one. I think this is a loss. I don't care. We got to 90. That's all I'm really happy about. That's all I care about. Doesn't matter. This is a loss. Yeah, that's a loss in this next turn. Screw it. I'll forfeit it. So yeah, we made it to 90 this time in Swole. So hey, at least we've been doing one level every stream. So that's good. And honestly, that was the level I needed to hit to be really safe for that Farnsworth, even if I miss the ranking there. Because if I finish where I'm at now, or not even now, I need to finish top 1,000. I don't know if this updated or not yet. If I finish top 1,000, I'm still short on my Farnsworth for the Mythic. But like I said, if it pops up into the shop from his Mythic tier box, one pull will get it for me. So not too worried about that. So yeah, that's going to be it for the Swole today. So moving on, we still have our Siege to do, and then we also have the Shop Reviews. We'll go ahead and leave the Siege hits for the end. Let's go ahead and hop into the Shop and do those really quick, because there's a particular box in there. We might be doing some pulls on stream today. So let's take a look at these bad boys. Um, we're just going to go down the list here, starting at the first thing here. This just popped in today, the Legendary Twin Sale. So for 20 bucks, you can get... What is that? Two level one legendary cards, 1100 gems, and 1000 giggity watts. So you're essentially just getting a couple of free legendary cards and some watts thrown in on top of your gems for 20 bucks. Honestly, I don't think it's worth the money. I think there's better stuff you can get for the money. Legendary cards are easy enough to get through other means. The gems, it's pretty much what you're paying for and you're getting extra stuff. Watts, same thing, easy enough to farm those. Would not recommend dipping into that one. Next up, they got the Little Legend deal, so this is three bucks. It's limited four per player. For three bucks, you get a single Legendary card. Again, I feel like Legendary cards are easy enough to come by. There's better things to spend your money on, in my opinion. But if you want more Legends and you got a lot of extra cash flow, you do you. But would not recommend it personally. So we're going to go into our first look at the boxes here. We got the Mythic Chris box. So this is the new one for Mythic Chris that just came out this week. In fact, let me go look at him really quick in the deck because I know they don't have him showing in the box, which is dumb. You'd think they'd have that highlighted. So if we take a look here at Mythic Chris, just so you can see what he looks like. For stats, he actually looks pretty nice. He's got 51 HP base, 15 attack, so I feel like he's kind of middle of the ground. You can run him offensively or defensively. Um, I have plenty of legendary Chris's. I feel like I don't run him that often. But I was looking at some of his combos, and he actually does have a lot more useful combos than I remember. So they are giving him a lot more support. Skill-wise, you got the Craze, the Gas, and the Cripple all pretty standard. I'm pretty sure that matches the Legendary variant. But I feel like he's got some great combos for some Battleground effects. We'll touch on more of those in the actual box. Skill-wise, you're going to find a lot of use with the Cripple all and Craze on offense. Defensively, the Gas and Cripple all will also work really well, too. But enough of him as his mythic, let's take a look at the actual box, because that's what we're here to do. We are here to review some boxes. So looking into the cards here, you got a um, chance to get the, not the epic, the legendary pre-combo for Soccer Chris. This thing, I looked at it earlier, is freaking amazing. When maxed out, it is a defensive god. Look at this thing. HP way up there in the 60s. You got 65 HP. You got Bodyguard. You got Enlarge that's going to push that HP all the way up over 70. Honestly, if you have more than one card in the field, you're going over 80 there. So there's a lot of potential here. You got Burn doing damage every turn. This is a great defensive one to have anytime. Um, it'll especially be good right now for the Battleground effect for Athletic going on, but I see this being useful in any defense deck. So fantastic card. Um, for the items, we talked about exercising Min last week on stream. It's one of the newer ones for the athletic items. If I remember correctly, she was a defensive one. Looking at the stats here, she is a bit more on the defensive end. There are better ones out there, obviously, but 56 HP is still pretty good. You got the burn, you got the shield to help protect your wall, and you got motivate. So all in all, pretty solid athletic item card to have. Some of the other cards in here, you got New Brian for Animal. This one is an offensive one for Animal. If you look when we level it up, the defense for the HP, not so great, but the attack is stellar. I think maxed out it's 18 or 19? 18. 
As you can see, 39 HP, garbage. You've run this on defense. You're asking to get just one shot and giving your opponents free hundreds. But offensively, you got great attacks. So whatever combos you make with this thing will be hitting pretty damn hard. Uh, your other items in here, you got Turn and Jeff. It's one of the older music cards. It is definitely offensive over defensive. The attack when maxed out is 20, I believe, which is one of the highest you can get for an item. Defense, as you can see, is complete garbage at 35. It will get taken out really easily. The only thing I have to say about Turn and Jeff, it does not make one-man musical for Gene, which is unfortunate because that is one of the best, if not the best, music combo for music. Um, that being said though, it does make the girls being girls with him, which also isn't bad. I've used that combo to get to number one in Secret Fight Club back in the day, so it has its uses. It's still a solid card, but I feel like there are better music cards out there nowadays. Quahog College is going to be your educated card in this box. Uh, if I remember correctly, I looked at this thing maxed out and I thought it was complete trash. Let's see if I remember, if I remember that correctly on that. Uh... Yeah, doesn't really wow me. You got 14 attack and 48 HP. It's like on the low end of both. So it doesn't really fit anywhere. If you need a card to balance out your educated deck, go for it. Running it on defense, I guess it has the bunker working for it a little bit, but there's way better defensive educated items out there. Same for attack. There are higher attack stats out there, but you can leverage it if you need the card there. Um, obviously, you get the legendary Chris in here too, so you can get more Chris's in your deck. Um, the epic pre-combo is Homeschool Chris, so if we take a look at this bad boy maxed out, um, honestly, it's complete trash. Even in a um, clash battle, I don't see it being too beneficial. It might be a little bit of a buffer there that gets the double 100% buff on everything and have it HP up to 80 for the clashes. You also got Motivated and Leech, so it'll stay alive a bit longer, but that's the only use for it, really. In any other part of the game, it's not going to be useful anywhere. So that's my thoughts on that. So out of all the cards here, you got one, two, three, four, five useful out of the potential of the other ones there. So not bad. Let's take a look at the items and see if that sways me any differently. So obviously, I already said this is a fantastic combo. You do want to get the combo mastery for that, for the soccer Chris. Baseball Chris, while older, is a fantastic one for athletic as well. It's got, if I remember correctly, cripple all, sturdy, and I think it has leech too. It's a great kind of staller one. It works really well on siege for family guy too. It worked really well back in the day of getting a wall of those out there. Um, you got Chris's favorite chicken. If I remember correctly, when I looked at this combo, it didn't wow me. I don't remember it like just jumping out at me, so it's just eh. For fighter though, you had Coyote Fighter Chris. This thing looked amazing. It had a lot of craze value, I remember when I looked at it. So that's a great one to have for fighter. For this one, for Addicted Douchebag Chris, again, didn't wow me when I looked at it. It looked very underwhelming for the Addicted Battleground effect. Um, homeschool Chris for for educated the epic pre combo was garbage but if you're running the actual combo i feel like with the skills it can be useful especially on defense it can be great with that mythic one gamer chris this one is complete trash you cannot even make this combo with any legendary cards the only gamer cards that exist i think are commons and maybe some rares so yeah this is complete garbage that's just a joke to be in this box if you pull this combo mastery from this box i'm truly sorry for you and then there's Death Metal. This is another music one for him. It's actually a really good one for kind of defense to just cause damage. The only thing is it's only made with two legendary cards, which are some of the older ones. So that being said, it's not going to be too useful. So overall, it's kind of a mixed bag on the items you're getting here for the combo masteries. So overall, just looking at the box, it has some pretty high highs and pretty low lows. So I kind of just got to give it an average 3 out of 5 rating on that, just because it doesn't have too many things setting it up over the edge. But it also isn't complete garbage, so it's a fair average rating in my opinion on that. So let's take a look at the next item in the shop here. Moving down the line, we got the legendary bundle here. So for 20 bucks, you can get 1,700 gems, four super epic packs, excuse me, and two legendary cards. This is not worth the money in my opinion. If you're spending money on super epic packs, you're doing something wrong. The RNG in this game is atrocious. Your chances of getting a mythic from super epic packs are very slim. I've been playing this game for, God, is it almost four years now? Since the game came out, and I've only gotten two mythics from super epic packs in that entire time. So yeah, would not recommend spending money on super epic packs. So save your money, hold off on this deal. Going down the line, we got the classic tier box here. So this one is going to give you for the item here, the Thinker Ape for your, uh, your um, 
God, your legendary precon, but I don't know why I keep saying epic or mythic. It's just legendary. <laughs> this one's going to give you the thinker ape. This is an older combo. If you take a look at it maxed out, the stats also show it. It's got 59 HP. It's not bad. I usually prefer mine to be more in the 60s, especially for defensive ones. You do have some sturdy wall there, though, helping it out to survive a bit longer. And you got punches there to do damage. So it can work for you on defense for art. That being said, there are better ones out there. Uh, we got Vitruvian Man here for the item. This is going to be the old school art item. When you look at it maxed out, it's decent. It makes a lot of the older combos, so you are a bit limited there. But again, it can work. You got 10 attack, 56 HP. The HP is what's really saving it. It's pretty good there for defense. You also got the cripple all, which can stall out a little bit. Uh, you also got pantry guns here. It is a legendary variant of one of the OG armed cards. This one, I'll be honest, I kind of hate this card. The only use you're going to find this one for is mostly in the clashes, which is kind of what this box is made for, I believe, for the clash coming up tomorrow. Because if you look at the stats, it's not great. The combos it makes are not great by any means when it comes to the arm battleground effect. This is purely in here for the clash, I think, to help you out there. Scary Mask is one of the older disguise cards, too. So if you take a look at this thing maxed out, it's going to be good on defense. It's got pretty good HP, especially for an older card. You also got the Sturdy Skill there as well as... Oop, didn't mean to close that. Sturdy Skill as well as Payback and Punch, so you're doing damage with it. So if you take a look at the full overall stats here, as you can see, the attack as we go up doesn't really change much. Your HP, though, is up there at 54, plus you got the Sturdy there, so you can work well there. Combo-wise, it does make Devil Hank. It does make, I believe, Nun Peggy. So it does make some of the Devastating Disguise combos. I think it also makes Bob and Cena, if I'm not mistaken. So it makes some great combos, but it also misses out on some others. So it's kind of a mixed bag. Looking at your heroes here, you got Dr. Amy Wong and you got Peggy. Amy, fantastic, works in several battleground effects and traits. You should have as many quad fuse copies of her as you can get. Same with Peggy here. She works fantastically. Um, I love using my, my mythic one. Her maxed out legendary one can actually work somewhat on defense too. Her HP is above 50, if I remember correctly. So great ones to have for both. Paddling Peggy is your epic pre-combo in this box. This one, I remember when this pre-combo and this combo used to rule the game back in the day. This used to be the combo you would want to run, you needed to run if you wanted to be number one. That is no longer the case. It is complete garbage now. The stats do not hold up anymore. I would not recommend running this anywhere. Even in the Clash, it's not really holding up too much. You would need combo mastery because with the bonuses, you got 66 HP. Most modern combos are going to be eaten through that like it's nothing. So you need combo mastery to really make that worth it on the clashes. So it's really sad to see a combo that used to be so great and dominating this game turn to complete and utter trash. So that's it for the cards. If you look at the items, it's going to be all the ones coming up in for the clash coming up there. So it's got some pretty good ones. Thinker Ape, couldn't be bad to have it. Like I said, it's older, but it can work. Paddling Peggy, you're going to need that if you want your Paddling Peggies to be useful at all. Beef Squatch, kind of a joke in my opinion, as you can't make it with any legendary cards. So again, it's way older and you're kind of super limited on that. So if you pull that from this box, super sorry for you. Devil Bobby is worth it in my opinion for Disguised. He can work great on defense because that combo already has Leech, Payback, and Craze. So it can be a real nightmare to deal with, especially with high combo mastery. Drunk Peter, y'all know how I feel about him. I love that combo. Yet as many of that combo mastery as you can, it is devastating for drunk. You also got Bad Tina in here. She is an OG one for um, educated, but she's still very viable, especially at the free-to-play level. So if you can get combo mastery for her, fantastic one to get. QB Boomhauer can work great on defense. That being said, the basic Boomhauer cards aren't the tankiest of cards. You want to have that mythic one leveled up quite a bit if you really want to have it having a chance to stand out there and not die. And then you got Heckler Zoidberg here. He's actually a really great art combo, but he is older and he's only made with a couple input cards, so you are limited on what you can do with that. So overall, again, this box is kind of a mixed bag. I do feel like with what you're getting out of it though, compared on most of the combo masteries here, and the fact that most of the cards are useful, it is slightly better than average. So this one's getting a four out of five Golden Turd rating just for that. It's definitely not perfect, and it's not the worst. It does have some bad things about it, but I think it has enough to set it up over just barely above average. So going deeper into the shop here, our next one we're going to be looking at, I'm going to go ahead and skip over the Bill Legendary box. We're going to do that one at the very end. So we have the Softball Mountain box. This one right here, it's a mix of new and old. 
So the new one in here is the Softball Dale. This is a fantastic freaking pre-combo for the legendaries. It is amazing. Look at this thing maxed out. You have HP up there, I believe in the 60s. Yep. You got freaking 63 HP when it's maxed. You got Bunker to push that up over 70. You got Leech to get that HP back, and you're doing payback damage every turn. This is going to be another great one to have on defense, any battleground effect, but especially now for Athletic, it's going to be doing some damage. It is a great one to have. You do not want to miss out on that. Mountain Climber Peter is an older one, but it still holds up. It is another great defensive buffer. If you look at it max out, I believe it has the HP in the 60s. I think it's right at 60 on the dot. Nope, 61. So 61 HP. You got some Bodyguard there. You got the Sturdy Wall, and you have Shield. It is literally protecting itself and your wall. It is one of the most ideal ones you can have for defense if you want to protect your card wall so there's a better chance for your AI to make combos. So even though it's old, it still holds up really well. For your items, we talked about this one last week, but to recap, 3004 Olympics, I believe was on the defensive end, if I remember correctly. Actually, looking at the way that's going, it might be more offensive or middle of the ground. I take that back. It's more middle of the ground. You got 15 attack, 52 HP. So it's a bit of a risk on defense. You do have the hijack, which is nice, but if it gets punched and taken out in one shot, that's a moot point. You're getting a better deal on the offensive there for the attacks you're getting on the combos. You got delivery cycling as your other one. This is the one that was a great one for defense. If you look at this thing maxed out, it is fantastic. The HP is up in the 60s. And you got freaking enlarged there to really set that up over the edge. So it's a great item. Any combo that gets made with this is going to have a lot of HP too. So fantastic defensive item. For your characters, you got Dale and Leela. Dale can be really useful in some battleground effects on defense for his combos. He has a few ones that are good on offense too. But I'll be honest, I never use my Mythic Dale on offense. I usually run him on defense. So you're going to find more use for him there. Leela is on the flip end of that. She's more offensive than defense, especially the, um, the legendary variant of her. If you run that on defense, it is most likely getting taken out in one shot. But offensively, she's got some fantastic combos, so another great one to have. You also have here Skiing Leela for your epic free combo. This one, when maxed out, I'll be honest, didn't wow me. I know, shocker, when it comes to the epic free combos, they very rarely um, wow me. This one can work for you in a clash, just because of the HP and all the skills, it will be a good buffer there. Anywhere else, though, wouldn't recommend running it. So that's it for the cards here. Out of all of the cards, I would say all of them are pretty fantastic, with the exception of 3004 Olympics is just kind of average, and Skiing Leela is just meh as well. As for your items, you have the Softball Dale there. I already said, fantastic one. You want that. Same with the Mountain Climber Peter. You absolutely want that one as well. Um, the Swole Francine one here, fantastic fan Francine combo. She has got Craze. I forget what the other skills were. I just saw the Craze, but I saw the Craze values on the maxed out ones with Legendaries, and I loved it, so you want that. Wingnut, you can never have too many Wingnuts, so get that one as well if you can. Um, Swimmer Dale, I think that one, if I remember correctly, looked pretty decent on defense. And then, again, Skiing Leela, she can work well defensively with her skills, but again, it's a high risk running her unless you have like a level mythic Leela to run on defense. So yeah, overall, this is actually a pretty strong box. Um, I wanted to give it the perfect five rating. However, I usually only give those to a box if everything is honestly truly perfect. The fact that it has a few dings against it, I gotta give it a four out of five rating on that. That being said though, it's a four borderline five. Like if it literally didn't have this car. Like, I could forgive the 3004 Olympics, but didn't have this epic pre-combo and had something a little bit better, I'd give it that perfect rating. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that box. So let's go ahead and look at our last one here. It's going to be the Bill Legendary box. So this one I thought was interesting. You'll notice the cost of it, way more expensive than the other boxes, but it also works differently from the other boxes. The way this box is working, each pull, you're getting a guaranteed pull of the Bill Dotree card. So you're getting a specific legendary guaranteed, and you're getting the other items here. It limits you to research speed ups, watts, and then for the final tier, you're getting some super mythic stones, which is, I guess kind of cool. It's only 50. Not the greatest thing on that, but I thought it was interesting. This is kind of a new take, it looks like, on just selling you the cards directly through the shop. It used to be you'd have to spend the gem to just buy the card. Now you're getting some bonus cards in there. So each pull is also giving me a chance at either another bill or one of these items. So you can try to get some athletic items to go with him. He got Barbados Slim. He's an older one for the athletic ones. If you look at him maxed out, 
I believe he was more defensive, if I remember correctly. I take that back. He is, but he's also a bit more middle of the ground. 54 HP isn't super stellar. You do have the payback and punch, though, so if he does survive, he is doing a bit of damage. Christian Skaters, that's the one I was thinking of. This one is a great defensive one to have. You take a look at this thing. It's got HP up the wazoo. You got the bodyguard. You got the shield all to your athletic cards. And you got the gas. So this is a great one to have defensively for athletic. Death Ball is going to be on the opposite spectrum. It's more offensive than defense. Attack, I believe, is up at 20 when it's maxed. HP remains garbage. Um, it makes some pretty good combos, but you want to keep in mind it also makes a lot of the older ones for some of them. So it doesn't have great synergy across all the different characters. Um, as a character, Bill, I feel, is a really good one to have offensively for some Battleground effects. Like, Educated instantly comes to mind for High School Bill. So you want to get an army of him. He works decently on Animal, too, depending on the... Um, the buff that the battleground effect is granting because he gets a lot of punches and bombs and hijack i believe so he's a good one to have there so pretty good stuff to have on it this is the one i'm actually going to be pulling from because i need two more copies of bill to get another quad fuse of him so i'm going to pull from this thing twice just to see what we'll get and also to finish out my quad so we're going to burn some gems here wish me luck so first pull is going to be there's my guaranteed bill Oh, is that it? It's just the guaranteed bill? I thought it actually gave me another card on top of it. That's dumb. I don't like that. Well, I'll get my other bill and that'll be it. I thought it gave me a pull as well. Yeah, I don't like that. Never mind. I mean, I got my, my quad now, but that's, that's dumb. <laughs> I thought it was going to be giving me a pull from these two. Okay. That's going to make me really reevaluate my rating on this box now. I was going to give it just an average rating because I thought it was a neat gimmick to get your cards plus an extra bonus. But the fact that you're paying that much just for the freaking guaranteed card and not even a shot at these, you don't even get a shot at those until what tier? Until the last tier at 2,400 gems to get that. Oh my god, that is... Okay, this is a complete trap. This is getting my first one, like, one golden turd rating. This is garbage. Do not buy into these boxes. Like, unless you just need to get the last couple of the cards here, it is not worth going to that last tier. These are a complete waste. Holy shit. That is bad. That is really bad. Oh my god. So yeah, that's gonna be it for my, um... My shop reviews today, we did get enough to make another quad bill, which was nice, but I don't know if it was worth that price. I thought we were getting extra cards from that. That is, that's pretty shady. That sucks. Um, so yeah, we got that. Next up, we're going to be going into some siege matches. So let me go into my deck here and switch on over. I believe we're going to be hitting American Dad if we're still working on that island. So let's go ahead and swap on over to it. And let's hop on into siege. So this week in Siege, we are going up against Guild of Thrones. As you can see, we have not made much leeway on their islands at all. They've done a bit of damage on our Addicted and our Rich Island. We're currently trying to drop their Addicted and their American Dad. What's the spread right here? Who's gone? 12 people. Only 12 people have hit. How late in the day is it right now? Jesus. And only 29 of theirs have hit. That's kind of crazy. I'm so used to seeing a bigger score, like differentiation at this point in the day. Oh, well, we're going to be trying to do some damage on their American Dad Island here. So wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. So first up is a player has no name. <laughs> I like that. Leads with the bomb. That's not an American Dad card. So color me intrigued. I'm going to be going for supermodel Roger. So we're going to lead Roger. Okay, that's why they have Bob. They got Swap Bob. Is Roger even going to be able to break through that? No, he is not. Okay, let's go ahead and get another one made over here. Okay, Max Jets. Not great. Let's go ahead and get the combo made and just gas that thing. So I'm not in a super great spot. This might be a loss. These are all Combo Mastery 3s too, it looks like, so not great. Okay, we survived that. I can get a boost on my Supermodel Roger for health if we combo up the first slot. But will you look at that. No items to do that. Freaking fantastic. Let's go ahead and do Meat Man for the bodyguard, but I think this is a loss. <laughs> there goes my whole wall. This is definitely a loss. <laughs> Damn it. Well, we'll keep trying because I feel like this is the best way I can benefit the team. That or I could just try to pound away at a Addicted there for a Sig Addicts deck. We'll try another one on American Dad and see how that goes. 
Okay, Breaker of Owls is up next. Combo Mastery 3, Eggnog Roger. Jesus Christ. Um, could also go for Sensor Stan. Hmm, that gives me some bombs. That'll give me some cheer down the line. Let's go ahead and set up Roger for now. Let's go ahead and just make the freaking combo with Roger and hope and pray. So there's Supermodel. Um, that thing's gonna be gassing me, so is there anything with Bodyguard? Not really, so this isn't great. Let's go ahead and do... Can I do Stan, I guess, is my best bet? Because I, I have to keep building out a wall at this point, too. We'll do Stan. Uh, they're losing that slot, I think. I still have to keep building out my wall. So now let's go ahead and do Cartel, just to build that out. Got to drop slot one, which I think it's Fallen right now, which is good. Okay, we won. Hell yeah, we got a win. Let's go ahead and combo up into Sensor, just cuz, to show it off. But hell yes, we got us a win. Let's see if we can get us another one. Next up is Snowman. Eggnog Roger, Jesus. Um, so okay, we beat it last time, we can do it again. Let's throw out Roger. Let's go ahead and get that combo made. This actually won't work as well because that one's gonna be punching me. Kind of in a bad spot this time around. We'll go ahead and get the combo made though. What's my hardest hitting one with more health? That'll be Sad Clown. Um, I might be better off doing Meat Man this time for Bodyguard. I think I still lose. It's hitting me on the next direct attack to win. That is a loss. Damn it. These combo mastery threes are brutal. Let's try one more. I might benefit the team more by hitting addicted, to be honest. Because my American dad, well, it's not horrible. It's not the greatest. Okay, they got a Roger. What's he going for? I got the better Roger. <laughs> All right, they didn't combo. I will gladly take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and get my supermodel made. Counting Klaus is a little scary there. Of course they combo now. And I think it's going to wipe me out too. I think it screws me because it has payback and gas and leech. Yep, that is a loss. There goes my supermodel. Even if I get the kill here, I think I'm still out of the game there. Um... I guess we can do another Meat Man for the hijack. Doesn't matter, it's over. There goes my wall. There's another Roger. Yep, that's up to 50 attack. That is game. I'll just combo it and end it. I think we're going to be switching over to Addicted just to do some more damage on points there because I'm not benefiting the team right now taking these losses. So one second while we head back over to my deck to switch on over to that. Ow, 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 ow. What's going on with you guys, chat? How's your Easter going? Hope it's going well. Which is my addicted deck? Actually, technically deck 12 is my addicted deck. I don't know if I have one made, actually. That's what I get for not naming the decks right. Um, definitely not that one. That's the one we used last week. What's this one? Not that one. Uh... Yeah, I don't think we have an Addicted deck made, so let's go ahead and make one really quick. What's deck 15 here? I stand corrected. This is the Addicted deck right here. This is it, so let's go ahead and pop this one in and hop back over. All right, so let's try our luck on Addicted now and see if that goes any better. We got Demodog up next with Lois. So they're going for that Shoplift Addict. Not great that I don't have mine to beat it to it. Let's do Peggy and hope they don't combo. If I can beat it to the combo, I might be able to win. What's my hardest hitting item? Hypnotoad, let's do it. So we got first hit and first craze. They probably have a CM3 on that if I had to guess, so we'll see how this goes. It's probably gonna combo it. Okay, it didn't go for the combo like I thought. That worked out well, actually. Um, will Lois live if I play her? Actually, Chinchilla should live because it's getting the island buff. And then I can do my Shoplift Addict. I think that's the move. Let's do that. Boom. We'll go ahead and get Shoplift Addict made just to stave off the damage, and I think we'll win on the next turn. 
Holy shit, it didn't stave off anything. And it's not going to win, but I can block. Let's go ahead and do Meat Man, because that will at least keep me from losing this turn. So no matter what they play, I win. Doesn't matter. I just got enough attack there to clear 13. That's a win. Hell yeah. So yeah, clearly we're doing a lot better here on Addicted than American Dad. So we'll do my part for the guild. Just because we're going against Guild of Thrones. They're one of the top guilds in the game. They're up there with us and Big Bad Wolves. So they're not someone to screw around with. So we're going to take them seriously. Let's go ahead and do another hit here. Next week they'll go back to the wacky shenanigans, I promise. <laughs> we got Leon Katard. Actually, I shouldn't say that. If we happen to win the siege match this week, then I got to take it seriously again next week. But if we lose... Back to the wacky stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do the item, because I don't know what they're going to combo. I would rather see what they're doing and reserve my draw. That's why we reserved the draw for the lowest. They didn't combo into a shoplift addict. Um, that being said, I think I might be safer doing that in case they make it. So let's go ahead and do my shoplift addict instead of going the sig addicts. I need to start blocking shit out now, though, because they're hitting me pretty hard. So let's do Brian statue for the motivate and the sturdy wall. Holy hell, okay. Um, let's do Meat Man. Do I lose right here? I think it's going to kill me and I lose. I think it wasn't enough because of the CM3 wall here. Yep, damn it. Well, it might have been better if I did Peggy. I might have won if I did Peggy, but I wasn't willing to gamble on that. Just in case. But now that I see his deck, if it looks like it's all the food addicts, it might be safe to do the Peggy. Demodog got some human horn for me. Let's go with the Baked Evil Monkey for some power. Okay, they did Sig Addicts. I will do my Mythic one. They have a Combo Mastery 3 on that, though, so it'll be interesting. Skill-wise, it looks like I'm outpacing them on everything, so mathematically I should win this. We'll see how it goes, though. I could probably help myself out with Meat Man to get some Bodyguard in there. We'll block out some of the gas, and it'll protect me from the bombs. I think that's the way to go, because Chicken Fight with the Motivate won't guarantee me the kill. So let's protect my Sig Addicts a bit more, and that should help me secure slot 1 taking it down. Perfect. So now I'm going to want to go ahead and get another combo made. We're going to go ahead and do Leon Petard over there in the slot. They dig Sig Addicts, because of course they did. Doesn't matter though, I have 105 direct hitting, so I win. So let's see if we can get another one. Jesus Christ, look at the bottom of the screen there for all of the Combo Mastery uh, crowns there. That's crazy. All right, we got three hits left. Let's try to get three more wins on these guys. So Democat up again has Karate Stewie for the CM3 wall they're trying to build. I got no problem going for my um, Peggy there then because it's not going to be hijacking me. Let's go ahead and do my hardest hitting one. We got Sig Addicts there. Cool, it's going down no problem. Let's go ahead and do, do one chicken fight or Brian statue. We'll do Brian statue for the sturdy to protect. And I win because they comboed there. So chicken fight to celebrate because I freaking love that combo. <laughs> Who we got up next? Two hits left. We got horn dog. He's a big old horn dog with the Leela. Probably going for the food addict. Um, not I don't think Space Honey's addicted. I think that's drunk. I don't know. That might be. Might be forgetting my combos. Let's go ahead and do the item first, just so we don't lock ourselves in and see. Okay, I'm glad I did that. So yeah, we're not going to be hitting that thing. Let's go ahead and do another item over here. We're going to let slot one die. Oh my god, I think we still lose no matter what happens here, to be honest. They got Bodyguard, they got the Cripple All. I have a feeling it's going to be another Food Addict wall. I'm pretty sure we're boned. We'll go ahead and do my Sig Addicts just to get a combo going. Nope, that's game. <laughs> there is not a damn thing I can do about that. That was unfortunate with the Space Honey. That was unfortunate. Let's go ahead and do our last hit here and see how it goes. We got Demodog up again this time he's got the lowest so let's go ahead can we beat them to it we can i'm gonna go hmm we'll go big people monkey in case i draw the mythic lowest okay they beat me to it but i can beat them to this i think i still lose they got cm3 it's got more hp i think i lose if i go into this engagement here but if i don't go into the engagement i'm kind of boned either way 
I think this is a loss no matter what we do, which is so unfortunate. Um, it has more HP. It's still losing out. The gas neutralizes its leech, though. That's my better bet over going my um, shoplift at it, because that has me beat. So this is my best bet. It's still a loss, though. I'm pretty sure I lose this fight. Um, we'll go ahead and do... If I do anything else here, I'm losing out. We'll go ahead and do Meat Man for the bodyguard. And I have some heals there if I happen to survive this hit. Oh, god damn it. Yep, this is a loss. There's nothing I can do. There goes the whole wall. GG. <laughs> damn it. So that's going to do it for the Siege there. Not the finest showing against them, but they have some amazing decks there with a lot of CM3s. Honestly, not beating that bullshit unless I'm spending money on this game again. Which I'm not, so they can have the win. This game is past its prime. I'm done giving them my cash. Uh, Jethil, I know I was going to get hijacked. I was boned no matter what I did in that match. <laughs> Alright, so we did Swole today. We did our box reviews. We did um, Siege. There's not much else to do. I'm not touching Arena because we're still sitting at above 2250. There's a Clash coming out tomorrow, and this is the Clash coming up that I have the best deck I will ever have for any Clash. I will never have a better deck for a Clash. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. We got... Where is it? I think it's my first deck here. And Trent, you watch your damn mouth. <laughs> Don't you talk about my guild that way. <laughs> This deck, I think is this one? It's this one, my Drunk Peter deck. Literally an entire deck of Drunk Peters is what I can make for it. So I'm feeling pretty good about this Clash coming up. That'll be my deck, I'm running on it. You guys can expect to see some videos on YouTube for that, most definitely. All right, so we have a special thank you to my mods, like always, for everything you guys do. Appreciate you guys. Since our last stream, thank you Claptrap for following. We have Jamv420. TJ Unes, thank you for following. Um, Discord Boy 144, thanks for the follow. Um, Easy Anev M10 Yeleg, thanks for the follow. And thanks for the mouthful trying to pronounce your name there. Sorry if I butchered it, which I most certainly did. And Lightning Strider, thank you for the follow.